Hello, everyone. Hello. We'll wait for a couple people to come on. I see a couple of you. Hopefully, everybody can hear me and see me okay. Um, so if you can let me know if you can hear me all right, I'd appreciate it. Hello, hello. Thank you. I think that's you, Jess. It says Facebook user again. <laughs> hello, hello. Good, great. Okay, so my name is Terry. Um, this is actually the first time that I am live in this group, so I appreciate for the invite. Um, and great. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Good. Okay. So today I am actually just going to do some, uh, it's an 8 by 10 um, flat canvas, and I'm just going to Put some little goodies on top and see what we can come up with. Hi, Anya. Hi, Nunu. So I'm actually going to use some magicals on um, some Magna Carta paper. This is old um, paper. Uh, not, well, not literally old, but I mean, it's a, it's Magna Carta by Stamperia. Um, from what I understand, they don't make it anymore, but I really liked it because it, it has this worn, tattered look, and that's kind of what I want um, for this project. So, hi, Rachel. So, I'm actually going to put this on here, but I'm going to rip it just a tad. So, let's do a little tear here. And if you notice, it, it tears really easy. So, and tear here. And I'm actually going to tear it back and forth because I'm sure you know when you tear this way, you get a cleaner tear. And then when you tear up, you get that one. So I'm going to go back and forth a little bit just to get a little bit of like an old paper look. It actually probably take off a little bit more. Hi, Louise. So... Oh, okay, so Sam, I think that's you that says Facebook user as well then. <laughs> so I'll go back and forth, back and forth, just to kind of get the edges a little. And then I'll tear the actual edge up here. So how is everybody on this Saturday? Uh, where is Where are you guys all from? I'm actually on... The West Coast. I'm in California. So if you can hear my fan, I apologize, but it's already, it's only what, 11 o'clock for me, and we're already into the 80s. So it's going to be another hot day for me. We've been having, it's, I, from what I understand, talking to my friends, though, it's everybody in the world is having some really crazy heat waves going on so okay i think that'll work and i'm gonna use magicals it's actually the industrial sheet and i'm going to use the steampunk sepia and the steel is it steel shimmer yeah steel shimmer so scotland Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, Louise, I know you're in the UK. Oh, how neat. Okay, so let's take, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it dark on the edges with the magical, and then I'm going to pull it down with um, water. So let me, can you guys see my palette there? Yeah. Anyhow, usually um, when I do lives, I have, uh, somebody with me talking. So this is actually new for me. Not lives aren't new for me, but um, being by myself. <laughs> but I figure I always talk to myself anyway, so I should be fine. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Hi, Andrew. 
I don't I hope I'm not the only one that talks to myself. I actually answer myself too, and they say that's when it's scary, right? Talking to yourself is normal, but when you answer yourself, that's when it gets a little bit scary. <laughs> so I'll put mix that with a little bit of water. And then yeah, see, I'm not the only one. Good. <laughs> And I actually want to make sure that I get the edges of this, too. Yeah, I I always talk to myself and my family. They don't know. Actually, they know now not to answer me. So it makes it rough when I am talking to them. Then nobody pays attention to me. <laughs> I am talking to you this time. I'm not talking to myself. So... And I'm just using just a regular watercolor brush. That's actually where I started. Um, when I started out, I um, started doing watercolor, actually, a few, well, a long time ago. Um, and did watercolor for many, many years. Loved it. Um, and then I started, I found somebody on YouTube who was making cards. And then someone who made albums. So I started making cards and that was fun. But, you know, then I was getting like drawers full of cards and there's only so many birthdays and so many holidays in a year. So then I started making paper um things like gift bags and paper purses and um organizers from chipboard and paper and again you can only have so many organizers on your desk <laughs> so one day i came ag across uh, finnebear and this whole mixed media world and i thought wow what is that what are they doing what is this mixed media? And decided, okay, let's let's give it a try. And I have been in love with mixed media ever since. Um, and it's kind of sad because I haven't pulled out my watercolors and done any watercolor painting in a long time. And when I pulled out my brushes, because I use specific watercolor brushes, and when I pulled out my watercolor brushes, I thought, oh, wow, I really, I should probably do that again, just a little bit at least. So, yeah, it's a great color. And if you don't know, I'm sure you do. I mean, Nuneka, who's on here, Nuneka Box Nunu, she is like a master with magicals and I as soon as I seen her use magicals I thought okay that's kind of something I need to play with <laughs> so we'll go ahead like I said I want it a lot lighter in the middle and darker on the edges so I'm using a lot of water. Um, this is not watercolor paper, but it did take, it, it holds the water just fine. And, you know, as it starts to curl up a little bit, I liked it because it made it look a little more older, which is what I wanted anyways. So I'm actually going to take a little bit more. And... I'm not sure. I now there's a lot of Facebook users, so I'm I'm sorry. I'm not sure um, who you, who at all who they are because <laughs> I I'll, I only see Linda's name, but and Nunu's name, and everybody else says Facebook user. So I'm sorry. So I want it darker over here again. And I'm getting, usually I don't worry about the edges, but the edges, I'm going to put this on the canvas. And so I do want, I don't want any of the white to show. 
and then I'm going to pull that down. So I want the darker on the outside, and then I'm just using the dark to pull down. And there we go. Okay. I'll dry this just a little bit because I do want to put the, um, the black on there, which, again, was steel shimmer. So I'll dry that a little. Clean my mess. Hi, Lou. So anybody have any plans for the weekend? I don't know I don't, if you, about you guys, but my goodness, it seems like, you know, you wait all week for the weekend, and then the next thing you know, it's Sunday evening, and you're getting ready for the week again, right? So before me was Jess, um, and she did an amazing junk journal cover and I don't know if any of you were crafting but is anybody crafting along or crafting at all hi Terry yeah the weekend goes way too fast way too fast so Dry that just a little, and then I'm going to take the darker, because I was kind of wanting to make it look like it was burned a little on the edges, so that's why I'm going to go in with the steel shimmer. I just put a little bit in there, and then again, mix that with water. And I'm not going to pull this one down because I just want it on the edges. Just like that. Go. Do it all the way around. And if you can tell, see how it just, just gives a little bit, almost makes it look like they've been burned just a little bit. Get anything that I missed from the other color there. Oh, looks like I have some white down here. All right. Mm -hmm. Take care of that little bit of white and actually get a little bit of this. And make sure it's not too dark. There we go. Okay, now I'll put this aside and let that dry. Yes. Oh, I know that it's so, so neat how... You know, I would have never met some of the friends that I have um, if it wasn't for, you know, being able to craft online. And But I always think how neat it is, like, especially now when we're doing lives and, you know, everybody is just from all over the world. I think it's just so neat. Um, now what I'm going to do is just take some Stone Effect Paste by Pintart. And I'm just going to put it around the edges here. Let's make sure I'm not out of frame. Um, and just mix the two a little bit. Um, and as it, it does give like a little texture. I'm not going to do it too. You know, I have no, don't need it too smooth or nothing like that. Because it is a, a stone effect. So. And I'm going to try not to contaminate my jars, which I do sometimes. <laughs> I'm so I'm just going to go through. Hi, Leanne. Let's see. There we go. I'm just going to 
kind of pat it down almost, you know, just to give it, it will on its own dry with a little texture feel, but I'm just going to give it a little more. And then what I'm actually going to do is take my little dauber to get it over the edge. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have a thing about white edges. <laughs> And I don't need to cover the whole thing because, like I said, I'm going to put that paper that we just did in the middle here. So, yes, I have um, seen so many beautiful pieces in this group um journals mixed media um cards everything i've seen either some um someone's doing was doing decoupage on aprons and bags and i've kind of been doing that lately and i've really been enjoying making aprons <laughs> with decoupage paper on aprons it's something different but you can really personalize them and so I seen somebody in the group had posted that too. And I thought, oh, somebody else is enjoying doing that. All around the edges. Yeah. And then I, what I'm going to do is just mix in a little bit of the um, other color just to give it a little little bit of dimension there. But really quickly, I'm going to take this around the edges. And I'm not being real, you know, careful because, like I said, I don't, the middle doesn't really... <laughs> That's my son. He's off on break right now. So, <laughs> and then I'm going to just take the dauber and just kind of rotate it around in there. Give it a little bit more texture, but also mix in the lighter color. And why I have the spatula in my right hand is, I don't have any idea. I'm left-handed. <laughs> Try to be efficient and do it double, both hands. So there, there we go. Hi, Ellen. <laughs> Sam, is that you? I, I am. I'm making Sam an apron. I know Sam does awesome projects in here. She's been live. I've watched her. And yes, I am going to be making Sam an apron. And we know Sam likes rainbows. So I've got to find something really, really awesome for her to put on there. So... Maybe when she does a live and she has her apron on, she can she can show you guys. <laughs> I'll just dry this a little bit and then I'll put it to the side and let it finish drying. And then we'll work back onto the paper that I had here. Because I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. Again, make it look a little old. Sparklies, okay, okay. <laughs> I know what would be, what would be uh, something for you without a little bit of sparkle? We gotta have sparkles. A full-on fashion show, okay. No unicorns, no, okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. 
I would put unicorns on there. All right, let's set this aside and bring the paper back. Now the paper is pretty well dry. The edges where I went over it with the, the darker can be dried a little more. And then I am actually going to, whoops, use a couple of stencils. Um, this one is the Alchemy Stencil Stamperia. And then this one, I think this one is Craft O'Clock. Yes, it is. It's a Craft O'Clock one. Oh, I don't know. So, rainbow, Rainbows and Grunge. Okay, you got it. All right. You see how the papers, like, it's because of the water. I like that. I really like that look. Okay. So, I'm actually just going to put this on just like this. And I don't want it very dark, so I'm just going to take an alchemy ink pad. Make sure that I'm still. And just a blending brush like this. And then I'm going to go just over the whole thing. I think more ink gets on the stencil than... <laughs> I don't want the wording though. I just want the script. So, hello. Thank you for joining. Again, if you actually go to, I think it's, is it www.streamyard backslash Facebook and give them, um, access i'll be able to see your name because right now it just says uh facebook user but hello thank you for joining me yes lou i love this stencil i love the script on this one um it's uh, i don't know it's just enough so there we go you can see that Put this aside, and then I'm going to take the diamonds, the craft o'clock one, and then I'm just going to do this a little here and there. Not really. You know, some can hit and some not. And maybe down here. Thank you, Leanne. Yeah, if you... the. If you do the um, give StreamYard access, I can see. No, I don't. I can't see you now. Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening. Of course, I can show my aprons. <laughs> I do have a few done. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see them now but or later on when I'm done but if you'd like to I can definitely show you um, I've made a couple and then I'm actually going to take this crackle one as well and I think yeah this one's a stamperia one too now I don't want the full the full black effect on here because the alchemies are very black but so I'm going to actually stamp it and then take some off. Actually, I see that edge is real dark up there. And then just do a little here and there. Okay. Oh, Sam, I see you. Yay. <laughs> I can see you now. Okay. I'm actually thinking I will put this clock on here. I don't want the whole thing, though. So we are going to need to get this back. And I can see that it's not dry yet, so we'll dry it. I can see Sam, yes. Um... The other Facebook user must still be Jess. 
So that's okay. As long as just only one. <laughs> I know one is Jess and one is Sam. That's good. That'll work. <laughs> so I'll dry this a little more because I want this on there like that. And then we'll put some. Oh, actually, you know what? It's funny because this was not planned. I really promise it wasn't. Um, I'm going to actually have a shaker as well on mine. <laughs> I seen Jess use a shaker and I thought, oh my goodness, I'm doing a shaker too. So while we're waiting for the other piece to dry and hello, the shakers come with, you know, the acetate that perfectly go in there. So I was thinking for this, maybe the gears or the numbers. What do you guys think? Gears, numbers. Yeah, Shaker Saturday, exactly. I don't know which one to use. I'm thinking maybe gears? I don't know. We'll see. Moika? Maybe it's Moika. I see a panda. Numbers. Okay. We're doing numbers. Thank you, Anya. So I'm going to use the decoupage varnish and glue. Um, again, it's by Pentar. I love this stuff. Um, and I'm not going to even worry about cutting that down yet because I'm just going to put this on here and then I'll get it through the edges. <laughs> Anya. I guess I didn't learn from you when you were messing with edges. Let's see. What do we want? Oh, I'll do right here. I'm going to take my... Aw, hi, Moika. How are you? Thank you for joining. Yeah. Numbers it is. Yes, numbers it is. And I just use a little squeegee, and I can feel that it's right here, so I will take my little water pin. Did I get the empty one? Oh, no wonder water's not coming out. Hello. And then just... Okay. And so I don't have to do a lot more. I could still feel where it is here. And I'll just, okay, that's it. I need to throw that one off to the side. Keep grabbing the empty pin. Yeah, actually, I really like using this. It has like a felt on this side, so it doesn't pick up the, you know, the decoupage paper. And it just, it helps adhere it. All right, now let's get my little... satisfying to me when I do decoupage and then I sand the paper off and it <laughs> obviously these are going to have to go down but I'm not too worried about it because I can actually push it down should probably stay to the back and 
not torture you guys with having to sand off all the middle of them. And you're not really going to see this. You're only going to see the middle. So let me get a smaller one here. Oh, are you guys talking about the little squeeze? My little... I just got mine from Amazon. They sold them like in a five pack, I think. There we go. Like I said, you're not going to see a lot of the edges anyway, so I'm not really worried about because the shaker is going to go right on top of it. But, all right. I'm a messy crafter, if you guys haven't noticed. I don't know. Nunu, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to go ahead and just put a layer over this and then get the edges down that are kind of be flying around here. And my shaker is actually from the same place from the mix palette. Um, I love getting all my MDS basically. I love them. Yeah. Love that. She's always putting new stuff on, too, so it's always so dangerous because I'm every time I stock the website, every time something new is on there, <laughs> I fill my card up. Hi, Lamia. Good to see you. Oh, thanks, Terry. Oh, is he? Nunu, he didn't like me sanding. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, that's so funny. I wonder why. Oh, yes, Terry, don't they? The best MDFs. I have a peg wall behind me, a pegboard, and I swear most of the pegs are full of MDFs. I could probably never use all of the MDFs I have in a lifetime, but it doesn't matter. Anytime a new one comes, I have to get it every single time. But yeah, and she just loaded some new stuff too. So yeah, so dangerous. So, so dangerous. So these are going to go on there like that. So see what I mean? You can't see. So we'll get some of the fuzz off, but I'm not real worried about it because you won't see it. Actually, I could probably take a little bit of the decoupage glue. Oh, yes, Sam. I think I actually have a box coming. No, not I think. Okay, I know. <laughs> Just, I know I have a box coming. <laughs> oh, gosh. Can't help myself. There we go. All right. So now let's work on, don't need those. I'm going to take that. And this is fin, Finnabar's, what is this? Brass hardware. And this is, I don't need to prime that because it's opaque enough that I could just go right on with it. So is anybody doing anything? I know I asked, but I didn't hear, see anything here. I didn't see, does anybody have any plans for the weekend? I know, like I said, it's been so hot that 
I really don't even like to go outside much <laughs> right now. I just can't. See, if I walk out to, you know, go to the recycle bin or I'm, I come back in and I am too, too much, too much heat right now. This would be a good time to have a pool. Sit in the pool. But then I guess the pool would need to be in the shade. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, hi. Is that Claire? I wonder why everybody's coming up as Facebook user because I know I've seen Claire's name. But hi, Claire. How are you? So good to see you. Glad you can make it. I didn't really have to worry about the edges, but actually no, because you're going to see all of that. I know painting is so exciting to watch. I'm sorry. I'll try not to torture you guys. Okay. And then the last guy over here. There we go. Oh. This year we had, we didn't have a nice summer. Uh, what night because it was too hot, or we didn't have a nice summer because of the heat? Probably because it's been crazy. This heat wave has been crazy everywhere. Okay, so I am going to get those down and I'm going to use just some extra forte. Here and then use the brush and get it all around. Yeah, no, it's too hot. Yeah, see? I don't know. What's going on with with the heat? I know um, Leanne was saying that it, it was like a record high in the UK. I think it was last week. I think for me in Fahrenheit, I think it was like in the hundreds. So for her, it was in the high 30s, if not 40, I think, Celsius. I don't know. I'm not real good with. <laughs> but yeah. And then I know Nunu in Spain had a. She couldn't even get into her craft room because it was so hot. Yeah, it hit over 40. Yeah, see, that's I don't, it's craziness. So crazy. Okay. Make sure this is. And I'll make sure to wipe that glue up because I don't want any of my shaker inside to stick to it. Okay, let me get a wipe. Oh, my goodness gracious. A house burnt down near you? 
that's awful. Yeah, I don't, my goodness, that's, that's insane. Yeah, see, yeah, the U.S., I, I know, like, Jess on, who you guys just watched, um, she's in Florida, and she, as she was saying, she, it was, she crafts in the garage, she has a big garage she crafts in and it was so hot she could barely even get in there so that'll go like that just want to make sure that the glue doesn't um, stick to anything so I'm gonna get my little just you know my a little embossing buddy just to make sure because I know putting that in there right after that I know right just relax now okay so I'm going to use the flying steam and I'll show you the goodness that is in this thing oh my goodness I'm not going to use the wings but can you see the gears and the, oh, I just love it. And again, this was from the same, same place, mix palette. Ooh. Shakers make me happy. <laughs> I love shakers. Okay. Sure that they're okay. They look to be okay. And oh, sorry guys. I know they are amazing. Actually, still have blue. I'm gonna go for them. I don't want to do that. That brush is too big. It'll get glue everywhere. Just need a little bit of this to stick the acetate down and then put the gear on top of it. sure that's all stuck down and then we'll put our uh, other piece on there I just discovered them today so I so want to oh the mix palette did you go on and look at all the good stuff that's on there I mean, yeah, you're going to, Ellen, you're going to, <laughs> we say fall down the rabbit hole, right? You just, you're going to find so many good things. Every page has just more goodies. Clean that up a little bit. Because there's some great, like, organizers and stuff on there that I've gotten for, like, the fin waxes. Because it's always so hard to find the one you want in the drawer. There we go. Love it. 
see that? Oh, yes, the cat. Oh, my goodness. I can't wait to see you post some pictures so we can see what you do with it. All right. So let's get this back. And audio obviously was heavy handed because I could still feel it wet in some areas. Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Sorry, was just dishing up my food. No problem. I'm not sure who you are. I'm sorry. It says Facebook user. This doggone thing. You have a big wish list. What else is on your wish list, Ellen? Oh, my goodness. And what's really awesome is the shipping is so fast. So once you place your order, you'll get it pretty quickly. And that's the best part because it, oh, okay. Hi, Claire. That's the best part because then you get to actually play with them. Thank you, Terry. I don't, I know Claire has authorized the Dream Yard before because she's been on before um, my lives before. So I'm not sure why it's doing that today. Because it, It's almost like it was telling everybody to authorize. There we go. I love it. Okay. Now I'm just going to use, um, actually, I'm just going to use the craft glue. So that way I can put that on there a little, a little quicker than. Oh, yes. The butterflies. I have that one, too. The butterflies, the anchor. I'm I'm pretty sure by now I probably have, if not one of everything, two. They're just so fun to add to the projects or just, you know, make a project out of the shaker itself because some of them are big enough that you don't even need anything else behind it or add it to anything this is just uh, stamperia's craft glue stick this paper down okay There we go. Let me close this before I. She's using a bone folder to bring some of the glue that was in the middle, get it out to the edges. And then I actually kind of don't want them all the way down on the edges. I like that it's up just a little bit, so I'll kind of... There we go. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's do... I don't want the clock on the whole thing. Sorry, let me get some of this out of the way. I think I probably want it about right here. We good. So let's do a little mark there, a little mark there, and then cut this off. Thank you, Terry. I really, I it's I really like the paper. It's too bad that I can't really find it anymore. Um, but. And where was my other mark? Is that the mark? Wait a minute. What am I doing? Is that the mark there? Oh, wait a second. Hello. Did I do it upside down? Oh, well. Clock's going to go upside down or sideways. <laughs> Okay. 
There we go. Tell time from the side, I guess. And then I'm just going to hopefully Neo can't hear this <laughs> sanding just a little bit. And then I'm going to use the extra forte to get this down. Here and here. Put that there. Okay. Let's see if we want to use. Can I put the? It has little hands. I'm going to do the little hands and then have her holding them up. Yes? No? Yeah. Okay. So let's do something with her really quickly. Hey! What time is it? Are you okay on time? Okay. Let's do a little, actually, no, what am I doing? Let's make her the same color. And this chipboard is from Creative Embellishments. It's the little fairy. Get her act like she's holding up the hands of the clock. What? Okay. We're done. edge of her little wing here. Okay. Do you have this clock? I mean, it's really good as far, it's pretty thick. And for little birdie, it, it was a really good price, too. I think it was only, like, maybe a couple bucks, if that. Thank you. It says, loving this, Karen. All right, maybe you're telling me your name. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. She doesn't need much. Actually, I think she's pretty dry already. All right. And then we'll get the clock hands done down and put the shaker on. And then I think we're pretty much done. Let's bring her back. And I will position her. Make sure the clock will kind of be on there enough. Actually, yeah, it does. About right there. Okay, let's leave her there. Whoops. And put this one down first. Down. 
go. Hi, Nelly. Um, uh, no, 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 I haven't yet. I didn't know I can show them if that you if anybody wants to see them, but you know, I haven't shown the aprons yet. But if you guys want to see them, I can surely show them. And then we will put her here. Actually, you know what? Let me grab a little to prop her up a little bit. This is just a little the scrap boys. Put it behind her, her head or her body so you can't see. There we go. Just to give her so she's even with the clock down here. There we go. Now she looks like she's leaning back. <laughs> and then let's put the shaker right here. And I'll actually probably need a little, a couple of these back here too. Because it's not going to, yeah. Take this one off. Oh, thanks, Nunu. Okay. And then let's put this on here. Actually... One too many. There we go, that's better. You know what? I'm probably going to need to put some heavy body gel on that. That's not gonna stay with just the extra forte glue. It's a little heavy, so let me pick that back up and put on some of the heavy body gel. And it's Finnabar's heavy body gel, which is nothing comes off with that. <laughs> there we go. And there we go. <laughs> and that's it. We are done. We have my little fairy clock shaker. So, yes, if you would like, I could definitely show you the aprons that I've done. I've done a couple. Um, let me clean off my hands, though, so they don't kill me for having dirty hands and touching their aprons. Thank you, Linda. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you. I appreciate it. And I didn't do too bad on time, so hopefully I didn't bore you guys. But let me clean up this little bit of glue everywhere so that way I can show you what everybody's talking about that I've been making. I'm telling you, I've really been, I don't know, it just, it's so much fun and I want to keep making them so I can only use <laughs> so, so many aprons. And then I had a couple people say that they wanted it. So I said, fine, there's my excuse to make aprons. I could just make them for people. <laughs> So there we go. There's my project again without all the mess everywhere. And then I'll show you a couple of the aprons. That I've done. Thank you very much. Thank you, everybody.
Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thanks, Lou. I'd love to come back. Thank you for inviting me. I really have enjoyed. I, it wasn't so bad talking to myself. <laughs> I just had an excuse to talk to myself. Um, I'll put this aside and I'll show you. Oh, my goodness. The table's a little wet from the Clorox wipe. Ooh, this is scary. Let me put something over that. And I'll tell you why I'm doing that. <laughs> so I've done a couple of aprons, like I said. I've been enjoying it. Um, this is the first one. I used um, Decoupage Queen's um, collaboration with Andy Skinner. Um, so this is the paper, the decoupage paper. And this is actually for Jess, who was just on. <laughs> just. I have to send her a mold. Um, so I personalized it for her. And then if you can see here, I, it's got a little pencil pocket here and then a big pocket. So I made it look like it was stitched together. I put some stone paper behind there. And this just says made with love, a little light bulb. Um, a ruler, a little palette with the, the clock on there. And then these are the pockets. And obviously the name of this paper is Ruby Tuesday. Um, and then little stencil with the alchemy stencil. And then the other pocket. So it just kind of looks like, you know, the paper's coming um, through the edges, if you will. Mine, mine, mine. Okay, that must be you, Jess. Yes, this is yours. Can't deny it's yours. <laughs> so that's one of them that I've done. And then the other one is this one. And this is for, obviously, a disorganized crafter. Um, again, I use, this is actually, um, Patchwork by Decoupage Queen. And then this is, I think, Paper Designs. Um, this is for Nikki. Nikki loves owls. So I stitched on some, you know, steampunk stuff. She likes owls, steampunk. The gears here, which are connected, so they're turning. And then gave them some eyes. And on the pocket, she has the Wisdom Owl. And then on the other pocket, more owls. And then here I made a patch with um, a cadence stencil and the patchwork. Mine, mine, mine. Is that you, Nikki? <laughs> and then blended the corners in again, making it looking like it's coming from the sides. I would love to, Rachel. Of course I will. If you guys want to have me back, I will definitely love to do an apron. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I will definitely be shipping them out. Jess, you'll know why this was in the pocket. And did you see how it tried to slip out again? <laughs> but yes, Sam, I'm working on Sam's next so you guys can see Sam's. But anyhow, I will let you go. I've taken up some of your Saturday. I will if if they want me back, I will love to come back and definitely do an apron for you. I also do bags like this. So yes. Thank you, Moika. Yes. Yes, Lou. They, they are, I, I, like I said, I've been enjoying them. And since somebody wants them, I, it just gives me a reason to keep making them. So <laughs> anyhow, thank you all for joining me. I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your weekend. And I'd love to come back and I could do a tote as well, Ellen, apron. I do totes, aprons, and then the little, like, pencil bags, which I thought are super cute for, like, the kids, um, you know, going back to school to have their own little personalized pencil bag. So, yes. Um, anyhow, thank you again. I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful weekend, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.